Where are you taking me? <laughs> that is where she's taking me. Gracie, what are you doing? <laughs> where are we going? As of today, I am back in charge of doing all of Gracie's walks, except for the nighttime one, because there's a fox that runs around the neighborhood and I can't control her if she tries to chase after it. So my brother will do that, but the other walks I have to do. My mom was doing it while I was recovering, but now she can't do it because she's going through chemo and it's really affecting her. Surprise, that's one of the other things going on at home. There are a few hiccups to me doing the walks, um, but I guess we'll figure it out. But for right now, I have yet to walk longer than 20 minutes. Um, picking up after Gracie is uh, kind of difficult, but if she doesn't near the curb, I can get on the street and I don't have as far to bend down. But if she doesn't do that, <laughs> I can't reach. <laughs> a gas leak in their house. Who? Us! Good morning, it's 7 a.m. Um, as soon as we started our walk, we ran into a dog, which was my biggest worry because Gracie always wants to run after the dogs and um, I don't have the confidence to uh, restrain her. Also, my mom followed us in her car so she could pick up after Gracie because I couldn't reach down, so that was fun. This is um, quite an interesting uh, arrangement we've got going on. <laughs> sunshine day it's currently 8 40 a.m i am on my way to physical therapy today i am getting an evaluation done to see how i'm progressing so i'll let you know how that goes so i have officially graduated from physical therapy but what exactly does that mean because i realize i never talk about physical therapy for anybody who might not know in regards to major surgery after you have your surgery you are prescribed to go to physical therapy to do your rehab so in my case i visited a rehab center on the first day i got evaluated to check out where i'm at and from there the physical therapist created a program for me i went to physical therapy twice a week with the understanding that i also had to to do the work at home on my off days. And then at the end of the month, I get reevaluated again to see how much I have improved or haven't improved. And from there, the physical therapist makes the decision on whether or not I should continue. In my case, I don't need to go back. So I just did my evaluation where I was tested on flexibility and strength like i had to bend over i had to bend back i had to bend to the side the physical therapist had me on the table she was lifting my legs she was bending my legs because of what's going on with the left calf muscle as well as my left leg because it's shorter than the right leg there are definitely some issues but the physical therapist is now putting all of this in the hands of the physiatrist who i will be seeing at the end of may right now i am at the almost six and a half month mark when it comes to my recovery and I'm not gonna lie it feels like I should be further along than I am however I have made tremendous progress so I don't know why I'm putting so much pressure on myself I think it's the fact that I'm still feeling pain at this point and I am feeling pressure from home especially due to what my mother is going through confidential hour I do feel like my mom has resentment towards me because I'm not 100% there yet I feel like she thinks I should be there and thus she's making me think that I should be there however every single person who has ever gone through a spinal fusion says it's 
gonna take you up to a year. You know, it's a slow, long process. So I have this tremendous guilt that's placed upon me that I should, you know, be able to fully function and be normal again because right now my mom can't do the things that she used to do. Coming from a home where you don't have a good relationship with a parent makes a situation like this so stressful. I don't know. So that's my update on physical therapy. I am cleared, yay. In other news, you know how I've been dealing with the tight left calf muscle? Well, during the middle of the night, my entire right leg just cramped up. I'm talking about it started at the top of the hamstring all the way down to the foot. The entire leg just cramped up. <laughs> What the hell is going on with my legs? Since it's been a while, how about a weight loss update? As a reminder, my starting point was October 1st, 2022. I weighed 316 pounds. And as of May 11th, I weigh 285 pounds, which means I've lost 30 pounds. Okay, look at this. I bought this shirt two years ago and my belly completely filled the space. So the fabric like just laid on top of the belly there. So huge belly space showing. It, it just didn't look good. It made me insecure because it didn't fit how I thought it would because I thought my body was thinner than it was. Gotta love that insecurity. And now it's loose. It's hanging down. I mean, my pants come up to my proper waist, which is so rare as a bigger girl, but yeah. That definitely shows that my clothes are getting looser. You wanna see a trick? I'm not confident doing it as is, so I'll use the bed. Ha ha! Gets better. Yay! I'm on the floor! And for my next trick... Hold on, how do I get over them? Okay. Oh, not as good that time as it was earlier, but I still did it. And I can go down. Whoa, not too fast. I do want to emphasize that sitting up from a lying position on the floor was practically impossible for me before surgery, before anything that just happened to me because my core wasn't strong, also my weight. So uh, the exercises for physical therapy, focusing on the core, clearly help because that I, I've never been that smooth trying to sit up from a lying position. It is always a massive struggle for me. Another thing is noticing how much I do lean to the left. So when I would be on the floor and doing any type of exercises, all my body weight went to the left and my right side was very weak. So if I had to get up off of the floor from my right side, I would fall back down. <laughs> so I am noticing now that the right side is getting stronger and I'm trying to focus on that right side as much as possible. However, the negative, aspect to that is I do too much on the right side and then the left side becomes weak. I don't know. <laughs> it's a balancing act. So that's how I'm doing right now. Life is very mundane so far. But yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update about graduating therapy and now I just have to do everything on my own, which is so fun. And yay, I can get down to the floor. Yeah. I still can't put on socks though. Still can't put on socks, <laughs> but I can get down on the floor. Explain that to me. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.